CRLF stands for Carriage Return Line Feed and is a non-printing character set that is a combination of backslash R and backslash N. When executed in a program, the carriage return moves the cursor to the beginning of the line, and the line feed character moves the cursor down to the next line. For the most part, the application of the CRLF character set is limited to being relevant in program files with plain text. For example, it may be found within program configuration files, program source code, or in simple text files. As an example, I will use a CSV file to show the presence of the carriage return line feed. CSV files are text files, most often delimited using commas to separate values, hence its name, comma separated values. Each line in the file is a record of data, and each record of data will consist of one or more value, separated by a comma. On Windows operating systems, the end of each line of data within a CSV file is separated from the next line by a carriage return line feed. The carriage return line feed will not be seen as characters when looking within the file. However, we can show that it is there by emptying the contents of the CSV file. I will use this simpler example shown in an application called Hexdump to demonstrate. In the command terminal, I enter Hexdump, followed by the location of my example CSV file. This outputs a hex value representation of everything within the file. If we take these hex values and see what they represent on an ASCII table, we find that 61 converts to A, 62 converts to B, 63 converts to C. Then the 0D values convert to the carriage return character, backslash R, and the 0A values convert to the line feed character, backslash N. Different operating systems have different conventions for how to handle the line endings for text files. For example, the convention for Windows and MS-DOS is to use the carriage return and line feed for line endings. However, for Linux or Unix operating systems, only the line feed character was selected to be the marker in text files for a new line. For Mac, it is only the carriage return that is used. Therefore, consideration may need to be taken when transferring certain files between different operating systems to ensure that the line endings will be properly translated. With that being said, often the newer editors, compilers, and other programs that handle these file types have the ability to manage each of the different types of new line conventions. While the carriage return line feed is not something that would be often useful when writing programs, it is an important topic to understand when working with various text files. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, please like or comment to show your support.